All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be uh, talking about uh, sports, some uh, sports that are uh, uh, popular in the United States. Uh, the names, we'll also take a look at some pictures of, of what they are. Okay, and then uh, I have some questions down at the end of the lesson. Uh, we'll go through. We'll practice a asking each other questions and uh, and uh, speaking and answering these questions about sports. Okay, uh, very good. So let's see who we have here so far. Hi there, Foss. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Uh, how about? Uh, let's see here, Laszlo. How you doing, Laszlo? Hi, Chad. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, we also have, let's see, Esther. How you doing, Esther? Hi. I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Uh, we also have, let's see, Diego's back. How you doing, Diego? Welcome. Hi, Chad. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Uh, let's see. We have Carmen. Hello, Hi there, Tom. Carmen. Hi there. How are, How are you doing? You. I'm fine, thank you. What I'm about doing you? great. Uh, I'm doing awesome. Carmen, where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Spain. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, we also have. Let's see, Amparo. Hi there, Amparo. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Okay. We also have. Let's see, Luis. Hi there, Luis. Hi, Shadi. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing uh, business as usual. Business as usual. <laughs> hanging, hanging back, relaxing, <laughs> right? Retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. How about uh, Nasser? Hi there, Nasser. Yeah, I am fine. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Nasser, where are you from? Uh, I am from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia. Very good. Yeah. Good to have you here. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, we also have Oscar. Hi there, Oscar. Hey, I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Good to have you here. Um, okay, you guys, let me give you the link. The link that we're going to be uh, taking a look at. I'll put it in the uh, Verbling chat as well as the Google chat here. Okay. And let me do that. Okay. So, uh, so yes, this hour we are going to be talking about. Okay. And uh, and and taking a look at uh, sports that are that are popular in. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> Oscar, your face. You. <laughs> you, Paru. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Call the teacher with your face. <laughs> the teacher. It's, it's very far. My last class with him. Ah. Uh, hey. Oh. Yeah. Oh, All teacher! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Great! It was, it was just, uh, just a little blip. Just a blip. <laughs> I looked over, I went, oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. All right. Uh, very good. 
<laughs> I do. I do have. Uh, I. Uh, I do have my cucumbers today. That I'll be uh, eating while you guys are answering your questions. Starving. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, so we're gonna start over on the right hand side with Ampato, and we're gonna be in this column right here. Can you guys see this hand? Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys cool. see this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, very good. So Ampato, we're we're gonna talk about team sports first. Okay. Uh, so um, go ahead and read the first three down to down to right here. Ampato. Okay. Rugby, volleyball, handball. Okay, now uh, rugby might be a, a, a popular uh, popular sport in other in other parts. Um, in uh, the the state where I came from, uh, rugby is pretty huge. Okay, uh, rugby is pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw there was a movie about a uh, Utah uh, rugby team. It was a high school rugby team. They they had some challenges, uh, but yeah. What we have in Utah are a lot of Polynesians, okay? Um, and, and they do uh, here some of them, yeah, New Zealand, okay? They do this dance, okay? Uh, the Polynesians they do this dance right before they play rugby, and it is awesome. And they yell and they scream, and it's really cool. So yeah, rugby, okay? It's very similar to American football, okay? Here's a great picture of them. Okay, they get in this stance and then they, they terrify you. Very terrifying. Um, and uh, it's very similar to American football um, and soccer, uh, just uh, a little bit different. Okay, so we do play this uh, quite often. Uh, our next one is volleyball. Okay, um, in high schools, you guys, uh, volleyball, uh, volleyball is usually played in, uh, in indoors. Okay, we rarely play uh, outdoors, and they usually play uh, in teams of five. Okay, so you have five, and uh, more often than not, um, the uh, it, m more women tend to play volleyball than men. Okay, um, I have a lot of friends that actually got scholarships to colleges uh, playing uh, women's volleyball. Okay, uh, so in in volleyball. Okay, this is what our ball looks like. It's a ball like any other. And then coming across here, we call this a net. Okay, so you have to jump, and the goal is to knock the ball over onto the other side of the net. Okay, the net, and have it land on the ground. Okay, um, and that's how you score points. Okay. Um, the next one here is handball. Handball isn't isn't that popular, but um, um, it, it's not that popular in the U.S. Some people do play it. Okay. Um, it's uh, it's uh, from what from what I understand of it, it's like football, soccer. Eh, I mean, it's uh, yeah. So yeah, this is handball. Not too popular. Uh, some people do play it, but yeah, I, I don't know much about the sport. Okay, so it's handball. Okay, played on a uh, on a similar similar court or field to uh, to like soccer, but the field is much smaller. Okay, um, very good. Let's go to our next ones. Um, this these are for uh, Carmen. Carmen, let me have you read the next uh, next three, please. Okay, football, UK, soccer, US, 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 basketball. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're gonna take a look at. Uh, let's see, football and basketball, soccer. You guys, most of you guys know a lot about. Okay. Uh, football, uh, basketball, and baseball are are uh, pretty much the most popular sports in in uh, in the United States okay um, this is what the ball looks like it's similar to a rugby ball but it is smaller okay and it has these up on top these are called the laces okay so up, up on top of the uh, football there those white things those are called laces 
So you put your hand on that, and that's how it gives you grip, and that's how you are able to throw it. Okay. Now, um, when you see, let's see. Okay. Um, when you see guys uh, in this position, this is called a, uh, a, they're in the down position. Okay. And you have to have, for football, there's a lot of different rules, uh, but just briefly, okay, uh, you have uh, 11 players, okay, on the field for each team. Okay, 11 players, um, and the the guys that are on the on the ground like that. Okay, they are called the linemen. Okay, the linemen, and they're usually the biggest uh, and the strongest. They're there to protect. Okay, then you have guys that run the ball. Those are called running backs. Okay, running backs, and you have uh, the guys that catch the balls. Okay, those are called receivers okay they catch the ball so the ball is thrown to them and then you have the the main guy who is uh, kind of the captain out there on the team um, he is called the quarterback okay now when I when I played I played on the defensive end okay are the defensive part of the team and so my job was to um, hit the crap out of people and tackle them and get the ball okay it was for me the funnest part okay so you have these guys they are the offense okay they have the ball okay I played now this is a 4-3 it looks like uh, we played a, a different defense but I was one of these guys out on the end and my job was to hurt this man as much as possible and it was fun it was very fun Okay, so that that is American football. There's some more rules, but yeah, um, that's a, the some of the uh, the players and the, the gist of the game. Okay, um, basketball. All right, basketball is uh, slowly becoming a uh, a popular sport throughout the world. Okay, um, one of the most famous players uh, right here, Michael Jordan. Okay, no longer playing. Uh, but okay, so a basketball. When you're when you're playing basketball, uh, you play on a basketball court. Okay, it's the name of it. Okay, basketball court. Okay, where you throw the ball, you guys. This thing here, right here. This is called the hoop. The hoop. That is the uh, the orange thing that looks like a circle. That is a hoop, and the uh, thing that hangs down below it. Okay, that is called a net. Okay, now when you shoot the basket. Okay, um, let's see. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Okay, when you shoot uh, shoot the ball, that's called uh, you know making a basket. Okay, we also call this a basket. Okay, uh, sometimes you hit it against this board here. This is called, um, let's see, the backboard. Okay, the backboard. Okay, that's what we call that. And the uh, the goal of the game is to um, put that ball, the basketball, through the hoop as many times as you possibly can. Okay, now in in the game. You see these lines that are all over the place. Okay, if uh, there's a line uh, back here. Okay, if the player like this guy right here, if he was to shoot the ball, that is three points. Okay, but this guy right here, since he is trying to make it in the basket and he is within this circle, that is two points. Okay, if they were to shoot from this line right here, it's called a free throw. They make one point okay free throw right uh, okay uh, let's go to let's go to our next one so track and field okay this is for Diego um, Diego let me have you read the first three here please Yoo-hoo. Diego. Yoo-hoo. 
Okay, let's go to Esther. Yes. Um, the high jump, the long jump, and the pole vault. Okay, all right. The high jump, the long jump, and the pole vault. All these have to do with uh, some form of jumping, whether it's assisted jumping or not. Okay, so this is the high jump. Okay. Um, okay, when they are jumping over a pole. Okay, we call this the high jump. Okay, uh, the idea, jump from the ground and do not touch the pole. Okay, that is the high jump. Uh, I never did that one because I'm uh, I was fairly short. Okay, uh, I did do a little bit of the long jump. Okay, this is the, the long jump, you guys. Okay, when uh, let's see, you run and you run and you run and you run. You have you have to jump at this line and jump as far as you can and land in in the sand here. Okay, this is called the long jump. So the first one is to see how high you can jump. The other one, how far or how long you can jump. Okay, this guy seems to be just incredibly awesome. He's probably killing it. That's great. Okay, so the long jump. These are Olympic sports. Okay, Olympic sports, also known as track and field. Okay, uh, the last one here is pole vault. I never did this one. Okay, so this is the pole vault. Okay, again, uh, jumping to see how high you could get, going up over, up over this bar that's here, and you are using this. Okay, this is called a pole. Okay, the pole. All right, and you spring yourself up over the top. Right. Okay, very cool. Let's uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Laszlo. And Laszlo, let me have you read. Um, let's see. Uh, let me have you read the next. Uh, so from the discus down to sprint. Let's uh, let's move through these. Okay, go ahead. The discus, the javelin, the hammer throw, long distance running, sprint. Okay. okay. All right. Now the discus. Okay, sounds a uh, uh, a lot. Uh, it, it's a disc. You basically throw a disc. Okay. Um, you you may have seen that. Uh, you may have done that sport. Okay. The discus. Okay. This guy. So this is a, a famous uh, famous picture. What usually when you when you uh, think of uh, the Olympics. This is one of the images that uh, that comes up. You have this guy throwing the discus. Okay, so yeah, idea: throw this plate, this disc, as far as you possibly can. Okay, the discus throw. Okay, um, next one is the javelin. Okay, this is uh, the javelin is the the spear, spear type throw. Uh, not a rocket. Okay, so it's uh, when they have this spear. Okay, this is a really cool sport to watch. Um, I don't know why, but for me it is. I really like to see how far they can uh, they can throw it. Okay, but yeah, the javelin throw. So the idea: throw this as far as you possibly can. Okay, the javelin, the javelin throw. Okay, um, I never did that one, uh, nor the hammer throw. I'm not quite sure what the hammer throw is. Let's take a look here. Unless it's just throwing a hammer. Oh, it's the the ball. Okay, um, yeah, I never did this uh, this one either. Mine mine usually dealt with uh, running. So this is the hammer throw. So you twirl around. Okay, you spin around and around and around and then release that ball, okay? And you're you're trying to throw it as far as you can. Okay, the hammer throw. Okay, we didn't have this one uh, in my high school. We had what's called the shot put. The shot put is when you have a ball that's like that, okay? 
and you have it, uh, you place it here and you spin around and then you release it up like that. So, and you release it and you try and throw it as, as far as you can. So that's called the shot put with the ball right here. Um, I had a buddy that did that and actually went to college doing that. It was pretty cool. Okay, um, our next one here is long distance running. Um, everybody in the world gets uh, beat, okay, by the Kenyans. <laughs> uh, long, long distance running. Um, now, uh, when you are running a long distance, yeah, so the guys out in front, you've got uh, probably Zimbabwe, uh, the Kenyans, okay, um, it, these guys, they run forever. And we're talking about marathons. We're talking about, you know, 10, uh, 10 miles, okay, uh, or, you know, longer, okay, long distance running, okay, guys that can run and run and run forever, okay, um, and there's a reason why uh, uh, the this group of people usually wins. That's, that's how, um, in, the, in, their, in their culture, that's how they get around, okay? And they just run. They have it built into them. And ever since they, they really started to, uh, uh, to come to the Olympics, uh, the Kenyans and a lot of these uh, African-based uh, teams have just been beating everybody by in insane amounts of time. So long distance running. I, I, I was training for a marathon a while ago, but never, uh, but I injured my foot. Um, after doing about a 22 mile run, uh, which is almost, I was about four miles short, which would be one, two, maybe three kilometers, three or four kilometers short of finishing or of running a, a marathon. Um, and, and after I hurt my foot, I couldn't do long distances again. So I usually stick to about, um, let's see, I usually do between 13, 13 and 18 kilometers is, uh, is about what I run. Um, okay, and then sprinting. This is, uh, this is by far my, my most favorite. Uh, Usain, uh, Usain Bolt. Okay, is uh, is the fastest man in the world? Okay, um, yep. And I don't think we have any pictures of him. He's incredibly fast. Uh, yeah, we do right there. Um, so Usain Bolt, uh, fastest man in the world in the uh, 100 and I believe the 200, uh, uh, the 200 meter and 100 meter. So yeah, the, these races, you guys, we call them sprinting. Okay, um, they would also be called like the 100 meter dash or 200 meter dash. Okay, dash means running as fast as you can. Okay, so yeah, these are these are sprints. Okay, these are very popular. Um, uh, track and field in the United States is practiced uh, in pretty much every junior high and high school. Uh, they usually have a track and field team. Okay, uh, and this is uh, this is what I I mainly did. I was a I was a runner. I did sprints. Okay, uh, very good. Um, winter 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 sports, and I'm, we might because I want to get to I want to get to the speaking. I thought I was going to get through this quicker, but let's uh, let's see here. Uh, winter sports. Let's go to these real quick, you guys. Um, let's have uh, let's see, uh, Luis. Yeah. Luis, let me have you read about half these from curling down to cross country. Yep. Curling, figure skating, speed skating, cross country skiing. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, figure skating. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. For women. Yeah. Mainly for women. Uh, curling. Uh, winner. Let me see here. Winners. Yeah. Let me see. I don't know what curling specifically is. Oh. Curling. Do you? Very how nice. do how do you play it? What's the what? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, but it's funny to see. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Curling. So it looks like uh, it looks like it's kind of like bowling. You slide a you yeah. slide a disc across the uh, across the ice. 
Yeah. And the goal is the goal is to make it stop in this target area. Yeah. Kind of like uh, throwing a dart or shooting an area, an arrow. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So curling, I've never, never even seen that before. But I also grew up in Arizona, where it's really hot, so we don't have a lot of ice. <laughs> okay. Uh, figure skating. Uh, I've never, um, I've never ice skated before. I've never, never, never done it. Even, even when I was living in in Utah. Okay. Um, we have ice rinks there. There's a lot of snow, but I've never, I've never done it. So figure skating. Um, yes, a lot of women do it. Some men do it as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's basically a dance, dancing on ice. We call it figure skating. Um, speed skating. Okay, it's basically uh, racing on the ice. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, this is a Winter Olympic event. Okay, so speed skating. Um, yeah, typically your skates are going to be longer than normal. Okay, so for speed. And cross-country skiing, I have done this. Okay, um, mainly because I, I've lived in, in mountainous, snowy regions. So cross country skiing is uh, it, it's it's yes it can be fast but when I did it I wasn't racing okay it's basically just a way to um, an easier way to slide across the snow or to move across the snow without uh, without having to walk and pick your feet up and all that stuff and so you just kind of slide across the snow um, and it's cross country skiing that's uh, basically uh, what it is it's like hiking on, on the snow but you're, you're using uh, you're using skis okay it's uh, pretty pretty fun and also pretty tiring it's a great workout um, okay uh, let's go to Oscar Oscar mm -hmm. um, uh, yep. the next ones from Alpine down to biathlon Alpine skiing Bobsled, snowboarding, ice hockey, biathlon. Okay, that last word here is pronounced biathlon. Biathlon. Okay. Now, alpine skiing, I believe, is very similar to, um, very similar to cross country skiing. Okay. Um. Oh no, I'm ab absolutely wrong. I've never done this. This is, uh, I guess, speed skating. So downhill, uh, downhill skiing. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, when I, I I was out of the country when the when the Winter Olympics were held in Utah, um, and so I didn't get to see a lot of this. But my, uh, I have a lot of friends and and family that were able to. Uh, but yeah, they they did the. Uh, the World Winter Olympics in in Utah, um, they're in uh, like Park City, and they have all of these tracks still up and things like that from when they when they did it there. So alpine skiing, skiing downhill, and skiing around those flags. Okay, um, next one bobsled. This is this is actually a really fun one to watch. Okay, so bobsledding. Okay, that's what we uh, we call this. Okay, uh, four guys or girls or whatever jump into uh, this sled and slide down. Okay, it's really really fast and can be very dangerous, but it looks uh, looks pretty awesome. Okay, so bobsledding, bobsledding, um, snowboarding. Uh, this one's quite popular um, in in Utah. I've never done it because it's ridiculously expensive. Okay, for everything. Um, very good. So yeah, snowboarding. This is uh, this is very very popular in many areas, especially among uh, among the young younger uh, younger generations. Okay, they would rather do this than go skiing. Okay, they would rather snowboard because I guess it looks cooler. It's a lot like skateboarding or whatnot. Okay, so uh, snowboarding, snowboarding. 
Um, ice hockey. Uh, ice hockey is is pretty uh, pretty popular in in the uh, northern parts of the United States. Okay, um, we had uh, we had a uh, hockey team in um, in Utah. I believe Arizona had one as well, but I it wasn't uh, extremely popular. Okay, uh, but yeah, ice hockey uh, very famous for their fights. On, uh, on ice. Um, in Canada, uh, Canada treats hockey like most of the world treats football. Okay, you live and die by hockey in Canada. It's very, very, um, uh, very, very intense. Okay, very intense. Um, next one here is biathlon. Okay, biath. Okay. So biathlon, okay, it's a mixture of skiing and shooting a gun, okay. Um, so you ski, you ski to a uh, a certain place, and then you stop and you shoot a gun, and then you ski again, and then you shoot a gun, okay. So this is a biathlon, biathlon. It's skiing and shooting. It's a very strange combination, uh, but that's uh, that's what it is. Okay, um, so when you hear of a triathlon, um, you would think that it has to do with uh, uh, winter as well, but it doesn't. Triathlons have to do with running, biking, and swimming. Okay, a biathlon is uh, these two sports mixed together: skiing and shooting a rifle. A biathlon. Okay, uh, very good. Let's uh, let's go to. Um, now I want to go. I want to jump over the individual sports and move to questions because we're running out of time here. Uh, very good. So uh, let's go to. I'm gonna jump out of here. Very good. So we're gonna start off with uh, with pos. Yes. All right, and I'm coming down to my questions here, and uh, so Oscar, Oscar, let me have you um, read this first question, and you're going you're going to be asking this question right here to Pass, okay? Yes, Pass. Do you do yes. any sports? Uh, yes, uh, I practice uh, swimming. Great. How long have you been swimming for? <laughs> uh, I go to the swimming pool uh, here uh, near for my work uh -huh. uh, three times a week. That's great. Or, or try twice a week, more or less. Okay. It depends on my free time. That's great. That's cool. Yeah, I used to uh, be involved in what's called a swim team, and I, I would I would do races. That was that was very fun, very cool. Uh, so, Bas, let me have you read question number two to Amparo. Okay, Amparo, are you or have you ever been a member of any sport team? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Never. I'm so lazy. I didn't practice any sport. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so no, no sports at all. Image. No sports at all. I've never. But, uh, yeah. You don't. Yeah, this is uh, my class, I think. <laughs> you don't like a sport, or do um, you, um, or don't you practice? I don't practice anything. I like to to watch just tennis for on television, but okay. I've never practiced all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Amparo. Um, Amparo, uh, number three, and you are asking Carmen here. Carmen, what sports are you good at? Uh, I don't know if I'm good at any sports. I I like to practice sports, but that's a, that doesn't mean that I'm good at those. <laughs> but for instance, I like uh, what I do. I I go swimming too, at least mm -hmm. three three week, three times a week, and I and I and I go jogging, and that's it. 
okay. don't think I'm very good at those, but at least I'll try. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Carmen, number number four, let me have you ask this question to uh, Diego. Okay, Diego, what sports were you good at when you were at school? Uh, I was good in football, uh, handball, and basketball. Okay. Yeah. All right, I, very cool. I, yes, I was a member of uh, of uh, a team of, of handball. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So, so ham, handball was that in um, was that in Argentina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For ten years. Yeah. Really? So it's uh, it was pretty popular there. No, not popular, but uh, if uh, we 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 in the school. We form a group of uh, we, uh, a team, and for ten years, I practiced the this this sport. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, number five here, Diego. You're going to be asking uh, Esther. Okay. Do you keep fit? How? Um. Well. Um. In the morning, I go to work. For an hour or two hours. You said you go you go running. Oh, do, or did you say walk? Walk. Oh, okay. Nice. And uh, do you walk outside or do you go uh, to uh, a treadmill? No. Outside, uh, near my house. Uh, I go to a park and around my house. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. Okay, uh, Esther, uh, number six, and you'll be asking Laszlo, I, be I believe. Yep. Laszlo, uh, do you know how to play any unusual sports? Hmm. What what unusual uh, sports? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, unusual, unusual sports would be a sport that is uh, um, not. Uh, not really um, played all the time, like um, maybe racquetball or maybe Bad badminton. badminton, okay, yes. or or foot volley, okay, or uh, a sport that's uh, any okay. Let's say this: any sport that's not football. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the easiest way to say the that. Way, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know how to play any other sport? Besides football, Laszlo. Uh, uh, strandball, I think. Uh, what what was it? Volleyball, uh, strand, uh, strand, uh, beach ball. I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, so uh, beach volleyball, beach volleyball? In, the, in the sand. I think. Okay. Volleyball. In the sand. Okay, and and do you, do you like playing that? Yes, uh, the sand is very. <laughs> Very uh, good, my uh, my uh, feet, foot. Okay. Yeah, it feels it feels good on your feet. Feet, yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very cool. All right. Um, last though, let me have you ask. Uh, let's see, Luis. Uh, Luis, number seven, please. Okay, Luis. Do you do any winter sports? Which ones? No. Oh. I don't. Brazil is a tropical country, and uh, only people who live in south region can experiment the snow in the extreme winter. But this occurs rarely in my country. Okay. And if you had the chance, uh, which yeah. uh, which winter sport would you like to play? I think um, skiing. Okay. Skiing in, in Arge Argentina. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That'd be fun. Okay. Very cool. Uh, Luis, uh, yeah. let me have you ask number eight to uh, Oscar. Oscar, which sports do you like to watch on TV? Oscar. Oscar, are you there? 
I think um, we have a bunch of people that yeah. are being kicked All out. Right. Oscar, you come back. <laughs> came back. Yeah, let's see here. Oscar, are you with us? Nope. Okay, let's uh, let's have you let's have you uh, talk to uh, Amparo. And she already said that she watches uh, tennis on TV. So yeah. let's go to number nine. Um, Luis, ask yeah. number nine to to Amparo here. Amparo, which sports do you dislike? Why? Um, box. <laughs> Yeah, Why? It's, it's, it's because mm, too violent. Many violence in there. People are uh, just <laughs> bleeding all the time. <laughs> yes, I don't like it. I okay. think a, a fighting is it, not a sport. <laughs> okay. <at all. laughs> uh, that's that's great. Yeah. My absolute favorite sport is is uh, mixed martial arts fighting, and so it's <laughs> everything. It's like it's the uh, it's the bloodiest. <laughs> it is the bloodiest. No, okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, one of my um, favorite fighters is actually from Brazil, Anderson Silva. Um, uh, Luis, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that's a pretty famous name there. Yeah. Yep. But sometime uh, someone is going to be killed. Uh, yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It, it could happen. Um, okay, uh, Amparo, uh, let's see. You're asking Carmen number 10. Have you ever been to any professional sporting events? Talk about your experience. Okay, I, I like soccer a lot. This, I know <laughs> it sounds a little bit incredible, but it's the truth. And um, I've been going with my husband to the stadium to play, uh, to watch my, my team play. And who's your team? Yeah, that's I it. support <laughs> Valencia because <laughs> I live Valen in Spain in the city, and it's my it's my team. Okay, and um, it's I. Um, uh, when I was in Argentina, I, I had the opportunity to go and see uh, Boca. Uh -huh. and Boca Junior and the Argentines are crazy, absolutely crazy when it comes to uh, uh, football. And uh, d I've I've never seen or been around anything like that in my entire life. Okay, um, what is it like going to a, a football match or a game there in uh, in Spain? Is it crazy like that, or are people yeah. pretty pretty reserved? And I mean, they're having yeah. a good time. But I'm talking people can die at a uh, at a uh, football game in uh, in Argentina. Well, I think it's it's the same all around Europe, absolutely. Because um, it's like it's, we are very passionate about football here. We would call it football, it's soccer, of course. But um, um, people are very passionate about that. I mean, they really live it when they are when they are watching their team uh, play. So um, I think it's the same. As you experienced before there in Argentina, it's all okay. around the same thing. Okay, pure craziness and pandemonium. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. So Carmen, let me have you ask number eleven to uh, uh, Diego here. Okay, what is the most popular sport in your country and why? Mm. <laughs> Football, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Argentina, and football is the most popular sport. Yeah. And, uh, and who's, why, who's... why, why? Why do you think it's the most popular sport? Why? Uh, because the the people live it, live the with with a passion and madness and crazy. <laughs> the people is cra are crazy for football. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and, and what, who's the who's your team from uh, from Argentina? Uh, River. River. Oh, River yeah. Plate. <laughs> River Plate. Yeah, that's yeah. that's who uh, that's who I was from. I won't go into my story, but I was I was uh, uh, sort of forced into it, <laughs> and I got there with the family that I was with. I was like, okay, I'll be from River. 
but yeah, uh, was able to go see Boca. So okay, very cool. Are they rivals? Uh, I mean, Boca and Real Plate are they rivals? Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah. We yeah. like in Barcelona and Real Madrid. And Madrid. Oh, okay, then <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty uh, fierce. I act I've actually had people not talk to me because um, they, they would ask me, and I would say, "Yeah, no, I'm from Rive," and they would. Uh, oh, okay, and then just like walk away. It's like, oh, okay, I'm a, I'm a good person, I swear. Um, okay, so number twelve, uh, number twelve, Diego, uh, ask this to um, Esther. Okay, uh, which winter sports are popular in your country? Uh, well, I don't know, but I think that maybe the um, alpine skate. Like uh, ice uh, ice skating. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, um, Esther, are there are there big big mountains there in in Spain where you can go snow skiing as well? What? Uh, are there are there large mountains or big mountains in Spain where you can go snow skiing? Well, in the Pyrenees. Mhm. Mm and and do people do people travel there to ski in the snow? Well, uh, the people of the south, uh, I, we don't go go to the north. But oh really? So, <laughs> really? Why not? It's more more fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you have snow in Granada. You can ski there. I mean, okay. you go skiing there in Granada. Yes, but I like more the Pyrenees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, all right, Esther. Let me have you ask uh, question number thirteen to Laszlo. Uh, Laszlo, who is the most successful sportsman in your country, and why? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I think. Hmm. I think the. The the hmm, Darni Tamash, it uh, he is a famous uh, swimming uh, Olympic uh, uh, Olympic uh, swimmer. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I guess Agikisa also. I think the 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 nineteen. Uh, 1960 football football team in Hungary, <laughs> I uh -huh. think. Uh, Albert Florian and uh, Puskasecsi, I think. Okay. Oh. Very cool. So some swimming, some uh, swimming athletes as well as football. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right, uh, Laszlo, let me have you ask 14 to Luis. Uh, Luis, uh, do professional athletic in your country make a lot of money? Only professional soccer player. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do um, how much? How much would they make? Like that's what I've always been interested in. Because, for example, here in Costa Rica. Uh. Uh, they might make maybe I don't know. I think people have told me maybe three thousand dollars a month or so. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little bit more if they're a really good player. But okay. I know people like Messi, hmm. who's like in the millions, right? Yeah. 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 Right. And does it just depend on the team that you play for? Is that yeah. like the okay? Yeah. The best soccer player in Brazil uh, earned about. Um, Two hundred fifty dollars month. Uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Dollars month. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, tons of money. Yeah. Tons of money. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. And and it's only the soccer players. Not there aren't very many other uh, athletes that make uh, make a good amount of money there. In Brazil, no. Okay. And tennis tennis players. No. No. Do you have tennis players there? I think uh, Guga, Guga, Guga <laughs> was number one hmm. in 
but uh, we yeah, but don't he, have a, retired, another no? good play, player. I think the best player in South America is Ar in Argentina. Uh, the best soccer players? No, tennis player. Tennis player. Oh, best, yeah, best you saw that, that Potro, for instance. He's, uh, he's a good player. He's a survivor now because uh, Narvaldian is retired. Del Potro? No. Ah. He's, he's the survivor. The, ah. the, the rest of people is retired. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Korea. Uh, Korea? Yeah. Yeah, uh, they have a lot of good players, uh, tennis players in Korea. No, yeah. no, Korea. No. That's the name of the team. Oh, it's Yermo the name of the guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right, very cool. Uh, let's see, Luis, number fifteen, talking to Amparo. Amparo, are people in your country crazy about sports? Just about football, soccer. That is the most important sport here. Um, just the last week was the, the final of the, in the championship. Yeah, but uh, just in that that sport. Just in that sport. Mm -hmm. um, now, was it um, was it for the uh, the world the world uh, World Cup? Was that the championship or? No, the local cha championship. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. you, you guys obviously know I have no clue what's going on. I know that <laughs> uh, I, I believe Costa Rica made it in. Uh, I know yes. the U.S. is in. Um, it, yeah, I don't know when. And, and it's funny because uh, people would be going crazy around here, and, um, and, and it's all about the World Cup. But I guess there's like tons of games that are played until you figure out who make, makes it in and I just got lost I was like, I'm not even going to try and figure it out uh, so uh, yeah okay so but uh, but in Ecuador as well people are, are really crazy about uh, about football yes people is now thinking about to travel to Brazil to, to see the Ecuadorian team oh okay mm -hmm. cool very cool Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see, number 16 on bottle, uh, asking Carmen. Do you think professional sportsmen earn too much money? Um, I just controversial yes. question, I don't know. <laughs> well, I think, for instance, it's the market is that surprise, because, I mean, he's very famous and people, and entertains people, and uh, people fa just pay for, 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 for it, why not? I think it's very it's very hard the way it's very it's a long and hard way just to get in there, so perhaps they deserve it. And if if they don't deserve it, uh, it's our fault because it's um, in the end we are paying to just to just to watch him. So it's like it's like uh, the market sets the price. Sure, I, I think uh, that's a that's a really good um, a really good answer for for why that happens. You know, um, yeah. because if uh, if it was too much, or if, if people thought uh, thought that these guys were making too much money, they wouldn't go. If okay. um, if if, uh, if if it was if it was too expensive to go to the games, mm -hmm. okay, for they, wouldn't people, they wouldn't they wouldn't buy the ticket. Mm -hmm. But they they make the they they really love the game and they they want to go and see it and they're you know very large fans. I, I haven't heard too many people really complain about. Uh, how much um, football players, okay, or, or soccer or football players make in uh, um, in, in their in, in their game? Uh, I have heard it in the United States with American football players because those guys, uh, for for the most part, a lot of them are jerks, like straight up jerks, and um, think that they're the you know God's gift to this world. And um, I, mean, I don't know much about. Uh, much about football, um, you know, soccer, but uh, um, and how how the those those people are. I've I've heard some really good stories about you know good people. Um, now, granted, you're you're going to have some jerks and whatnot that are there, but yeah, a lot of people in the U.S. kind of sometimes look at these guys, look at how they live their lives, um, 
and you know the complaining that there there is and all this stuff. And they go, come on, you're making millions of dollars a year. What are you complaining about? You know, so that's that's sometimes a conversation that happens uh, when talking about basketball players, baseball players, and and football and, players in the U.S. And this was another thing you've got to take into account that they're going to be there forever. I mean, they've got uh, going to be they, they can't be on, on the top. Uh, forever they will be just a few years so oh, you yeah. got to save all the money for when they retire you know uh -huh. when they go. It's, it's not like a teacher a doctor you're going to you're going to 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 make a living out of it uh, for mm -hmm. a few years stop but what about what about them they're not going to be there uh, interesting to everybody just to pay the ticket to just to watch him mm -hmm. just for a few years and that's it so they got to be they got to be very cool about that be yeah. careful with the money that you're earning. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 right because uh, the same thing with football players, American football players. Um, they could, you know, break their knee, okay, and then they're then they're done. Same thing That's with the, the, end with of the it. soccer okay, player. Yes, yes, so okay. yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, um, reasons for why why they could make make the money. For me, if they can, great. You know, if people are going to pay for it, good for them. You know, if they're one of the lucky ones that can make it in in that uh, that sport, awesome. You know, more power to them. That's great. So, all right, you guys. Well, thanks for coming into class. It was great having you guys here. Uh, next up is uh, TOEFL practice. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you guys. Bye. Have a nice day, all. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, take care.